Welcome to another video from Madhouse Crafters. Um, just a forewarning, this is a buyer beware video. I do not normally do these. Normally I just feature shops that I really, really, really enjoy. I love their stuff. Um, but a friend of mine purchased three or four of these kits, the exact same kits, because when you went on the Etsy shop and you looked, they looked phenomenal. I actually had suggested these kits to her so this makes me feel like a turd <laughs> that I from a shop that I've never purchased from before but but the the pictures looked so so nice um that I just thought oh I would love to have some of these kits and something happened I got distracted and I didn't end up ordering before she got hers um the whole process for her from what she described to me has been a nightmare um, she's actually ended up having to open a case on Etsy. Okay, so what happened was she, I'm not exactly 100% clear on the second part of it, but this particular portion right here, um, she ordered two kits at the same time. She ordered one for herself and one for me. Um, we were kind of doing a, a kit swap, kind of a friend, you know, I'd given her a couple of kits and, and she was going to, she knew I hadn't ordered and she was going to, she had, was going to surprise me with one of these kits. Um, I've looked at all of the kits she received and they both, both that I've seen look exactly the same. She ordered in two separate orders. Um, and they do not look like they're described in the uh, in the advertisement. Um, I don't know what exactly happened. Um, I do know when she ordered when she placed her first order, she ordered two. She received one. She was told that from the shop owner that she would immediately send another kit out. Um. My friend felt like the way things went down, that possibly the shop owner knew she did not send two kits. So I don't know. I'm not privy. I, I've she's read me some of the messages back and forth. Um, so I'm not really, but I'm not really privy to everything that was said between the two. So I can't speak on that. However, I can speak on the quality of this kit, and I can speak on the fact that I know that my friend has not received the kit that was supposed to be in this package, that was supposed to be sent out a second time. She never received that. Um, so she's paid for all of these kits and she's not received them. The quality of the items that she paid for is not good. I mean, these stickers look very washed out compared to the ad. Um, it, it's almost like the printer was running out of ink, except... All of the kits look like this. Um, there are, I don't know, I hope you can see this. Let me get my camera to focus. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're able to see it or not, but there are lines. There are horizontal lines about the width of washi strips through every single box. And these are the full boxes. Every single box has them. Um, you can see them a little bit better on the bubble gum. Now this kit is called Frankly Adorable. This is a Lisa Frank kit. It is through everything on all of the kits. Um, if you can tell, you can see them through there. And they are about the size of glitter headers or washi strips. Um, let me see if I can find, don't know if you can tell, but anybody who knows Lisa Frank knows that Lisa Frank stickers are very, very vibrant, very colorful, very vibrant. And these, I think my phone is making them look better than they are. Um, these really do look like a printer that ran out of ink. Um, it's just, it, this could be a be very beautiful kit. It, it absolutely could be a very, very beautiful kit, 
but I mean, you can see it even on the check flags. You can see the lines running through everything. Um, it, it's just, it's, I'm not, there was talk of premium paper. She had um, said that she was ordering them in premium paper. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but it, it's just so sad because this could be a gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Um, the customer service, just not great. Um, like I said, my friend ended up having to open a not received on the second set of these stickers that were supposed to come in the first package in the first order i'm not sure exactly what's going on with the second order but i know the second order the stickers looked exactly the same with the lines everything um i, I just i i don't I, I i hate to do it but it's just not it's just not what it should be not for the price you pay not for the time it took for her to get them. I mean, even the weekend banner has lines running through it. I don't know if you can see them. I hope you guys can see these lines. Um, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm ashamed of the, fa of the fact that bl the blue ones, you can see them really bad in the blue. Um, I, I'm absolutely just ashamed that I was the one that suggested this and this is what happened to her and I guess that I'm just not going to suggest things from shops that I haven't purchased from before and that's very sad because there are so many pretty things out there and I just don't know and I mean you can't see it but it it's there's indentations on all the stickers it looked like it looks like somebody wrote on the package and it pushed through the stickers and drew lines all over you know just like indented the paper um again i i don't normally do this and people that have bought from her before and have received marvelous kits that is phenomenal i'm glad that that's happened but i feel like people should know that this has happened and that this has actually have ha, this has actually resorted to an Etsy claim, which I have been purchasing stickers for a long, long time. I have I don't know two, three hundred Etsy orders of stickers in you know just a little over a year. So I do buy a lot from a lot of different shops, and some I won't feature on videos because I don't believe that the quality of the sticker is worth the price I paid for them. Others, I have a stack <laughs> that I'm working on videos for. Um, and then I have mini binders, just full, full, full of stickers. Actually, I'm going to take you off of my thing and show you. All of these mini binders are absolutely packed with stickers. Some of them are gaping. They're so full of stickers. So when I say that I don't think something's worth the value, I, I'm not kidding. I really, I, I just, and I've never in all of the videos that I've done and all of the stickers that I've purchased, I've never given a bad review. I've never, I, I'm behind, way behind on my reviews. So don't be offended if, if I haven't reviewed your shop yet. But um, I've, I've never done a mean video. Um, and sometimes I feel like these are mean videos. And I try not to do that. Um, I, I don't, I know people work very hard on the stuff that they make. And I know as somebody who makes things that you want people to love your stuff, especially if they're paying their hard earned money for it. You want people to appreciate what you've made and the time that you've taken. And I just... I feel bad about this video, but I really feel like people need to know what's going on. So I am not going to include a shop link or anything else. Um, clearly, you can see the name of the shop at the top of the stickers. So I'm, I'm not going to... This is just going to sit um, 
anybody who wants to share it that has a similar story. Um, I would appreciate not having nasty comments put on here, um, if possible. Because, again, this is my personal opinion. And you don't have to agree with my opinion, and I don't have to agree with yours. But let's try to keep things civil, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to, you know, let people know what's going on. So thank you very much for your time and watching this video. Um, you can share it with people if you'd like. I'm not going to post this on any social medias other than YouTube. Um, and maybe a group that my friend has started, she may choose to share this video. So y'all have a nice day and thank you for watching another one of my videos.